In this video, I will demonstrate how to create a new metric in the Big Eye user interface. First, using the catalog on the left side of your screen, navigate to a schema, table, or column. I'll start from the orders table. Let's start by clicking Add Metrics. Now I'll select Numeric Distributions in order to enact average, min, and max metrics. When I click Next, I'm brought to a screen where Big Eye will show me all of the columns that are eligible to receive all three or some of the metrics that I have selected. In this case, I'm going to select Price Per Unit as I'm creating these metrics for an Ops Manager eager to ensure the reliability of her company's dynamic pricing model. When I click Next, I'm brought to the configurations available for the three metrics I am building. First, I'll define a schedule, which I can select from the dropdown or define using cron syntax for a specific time. Next, I'll define the lookback window, or how much data to run each metric against. This is informed by the row creation time, or the column on which Big Eye will window your data to apply the lookback window you selected. Next, I'll select a threshold type. In this case, I will elect to leverage Big Eye's intelligent auto thresholds, which are trained on my own historical data in order to help me understand what is an expected value and what is an anomaly. In order to get maximum value from this functionality, I should go back one screen and ensure that I selected to allow Big Eye to run a one-time 90-day backfill. This is what allows Big Eye to generate these thresholds right away and allow me to derive value from those auto thresholds from the moment that I run these metrics first. Finally, I can define any extras, like group by aggregations that roll my data up by one or more dimensions, filters that I can define using where clauses, or any additional nuances around how Big Eye windows your data for each metric run. When I am finished, I can deploy the metrics or add them to an already defined collection or folder. I hope that in this video you have learned how to create a new metric using the add metric modal.